let, let's get to the, the aspects that you want to optimize for uh, that, you know, that will really allow you to reap benefits during production. Maybe Andrew, can you, can you walk us through uh, first DFM, D design for manufacturing? What usually uh, does that entail? Well, uh, design for manufacturing, DFM, and also design for assembly, DFA, all of these are part of a uh, DFX, design for excellence type of process. I think sometimes people think a little bit, overthink this whole process, but really what it is, is that you want to think of all the good things that you can actually do for your design so that your design is more reliable, more easy to manufacture, lesser problems, lesser returns. And basically all around is, you know, quality design. And, um, uh, and that's really what design for excellence is. You know, you want to make sure that, uh, for example, when we talk about this DFM design for manufacturability, you want to make sure that the, uh, the uh, design that you have is going to be unique uh, in, in terms of um, one way to manufacture and not have any kind of strange failures come up that you can't uh, figure out and fix. Uh, make sure all your suppliers of your parts uh, are qualified, approved, your parts have been analyzed and uh, by either component engineering and or you have reviewed the part data from your suppliers. Uh, you're making sure that your manufacturing equipment is all calibrated, um, well tested and all ready to manufacture. Your team are uh, well trained and so really it's all about excellence in all areas. Uh, you're making sure that, you know, once you run your pro process in manufacturing, you, know, you, you have a, a control plan, you have a, a you manage the process in, in such a way that you get great yields. And so all of these put together come up to be a DFX, uh, I mean, DFX for DFM, uh, meaning for uh, design for manufacturability.